Bonjour and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a small video about testing this servo motor. This is a cordless digital full metal servo motor. The reason why I want to test this servo motor is because of this guy. As you probably know it, I am building my own R2D2. If you want to see more about it, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So I want to test a couple of things about this servo motor. First, the strength, obviously. I want to see if it's strong enough to move all the parts that I eventually going to put inside the R2D2 unit. I want to test the noise, if it's very noisy. I want to test the precision and I want to test the speed. So these are the parameters that I want to verify with this servo motor. I have to be honest, I've been asked to do this test. So I'm going to do it, but it's going to be a honest review. So let's do the test. <music> Okay, first of all, I have to specify that I'm gonna use this device, a device that I built. You're gonna see the link in the description. Let's prepare the servo motor for the test. While I'm preparing the servo motor, I must say that the quality, the build quality is impressive. I feel the quality, it's quite heavy, and the horn is in steel, which is great. Okay, now let's check the range. As you can see, the range is way over 180 degrees, which is great. I love this functionality. Now, let's say I want to move it 180 degrees, exactly from that position. Let's set it with my device to that position. And I'm putting it in sweep mode. While it's in sweep mode, I'm going to try to block it. Let's check the milliamps consumed by the device. You can see it on the screen, actually. Right here. Okay, check this. I'm gonna block the, the horn quite a lot, and it's moving perfectly well. In fact, it's very strong, even though it's moving very slowly. Now, let's check the precision. I'm gonna put it in center mode. The device will stay at 90 degrees precisely, Check, as you can see on the screen. Listen carefully, you're gonna hear the motor move. See? We can hear it from the inside that the motor is turning. It's okay, but it's not 100% perfect. Now, let's check the strength. Look at the screen. You're gonna see the power consumption going up until it reaches 1000 milliamps, so about 1 amp. And it's a lot, especially since I plan to use several of them in my R2 unit. And for the speed, well, it's fast enough for that kind of servo. So this concludes the review of this servo. I hope the video will be useful for you to choose a powerful servo. And if you want to use this one, I'm going to leave the link in the description.